Hey everyone, so I am here with a um, new video and it's going to be talking about like some of my very, very favorite things, things like I probably couldn't want to, I probably wouldn't want to live without. Um, so like I always get asked what kind of stockings am I wearing because I'm always talking about these stockings that I really, really, really love and they give me a lot of support, a lot of tummy support, I mean it's my thighs, everything is just smoothed out. So, um, they're these stockings. They're called Essential Basics. I get them from Walgreens. Um, I don't, they're not at Walmart. I check Walmart. I check, they have them at like CVS and Walgreens only, truthfully. Those are the only places I've seen them. And this is size D. But usually I get D and E. E is really, really big. It goes like past my boobs. But for some reason, if there isn't D, I'll get E. But um, D is for like around 200 pounds. And I am around 200 pounds right now. So, yeah, we're going to talk about that later. But, um, yeah, these are the stockings. And I just get um jet blacks. But they're like nude, kind of like sheer skin tone type of stockings but they come in every color and they're really great and they're usually like I want to say like 89 cents no more than a dollar I usually get like five every time I go to Walgreens to just stock up on some I have some in my car and like you can reuse them they're really sturdy like these are it right here like you can reuse them probably about a good two times and I rarely ever get a run with them. But if I do, you know, it ain't nothing to replace them. But I've had these. I wash them, put them in the washer. They bounce back, no problem. And I'll probably be wearing these um today. But I really love those stockings. If you're looking for, like, really good stockings just to go under your dresses and, you know, your shorts and stuff like that. Those are, I really do recommend those stockings. They're the best, the best of the best. Um, as for bras, like, I have really small boobs, like, believe it or not, I have really small boobs, and, um, I was recommended a while ago to go to Victoria's Secret to go bra shopping because I was wearing bras like this, no type of padding, no type of support, or anything like that. I used to wear, like, flimsy bras like that, but then I've upgraded to bras like this. This is the um, bombshell bra from Victoria's Secret. It's like $50, but it is worth it because it actually gives you two cup sizes. Um, this one is real, but I have like three of these. <laughs> but this is the one I wear to like the gym. But um, it has two cup sizes and it's very, very, very padded. When I say it's like really padded, that's why my boobs be looking like super huge in my videos because... This bra is like the miracle bra. So, I mean, if I wear, this bra is a 38C. So, I guess two cup sizes is smaller than that. And I love it. I have the bra on right now, actually. And it looks, it looks great. It feels great. Um, It just, you know, it just feels really good. Like, I haven't had a great bra all my life. And I feel like this is the only bra that I would ever, ever wear from Victoria's Secret, like, I would seriously drop money on this bra. If it was $100, I'd probably still buy it because I love it that much. I mean, my boobs look great. They, my clothes fit great. I just absolutely love it, love it, love it. Okay, so next, um, oh, let me tell y'all, I bought the booty pop. <laughs> you know, like, I want it, like, I don't have a big butt, but sometimes, it depends on, some days I have a butt, some days I don't. So then, <clears throat> I was like, okay, well, let me go find this booty pop, whatever, see if it works. Yeah. So we have this store in the outlet. It's called As Seen on TV. And I was like, oh, shoot, maybe they have it in there. So I did buy it. And look at this mess. Like, really, I bought the wrong size. I should have bought a size um large, but I bought an extra large. I didn't read the thing. But they do give you whatever your weight is by in between that size and I just picked up an extra large for some reason so it is kind of big which makes it sits like above your butt cheek instead of like on your butt cheek or under your butt cheek so 
I was like, what the hell? And then it does have the name right there. It does say Booty Pop. You probably can't see that. But I just thought that was so funny. I had to show y'all that. I, I wanted to do a review on it, but I can't because they don't fit correctly at all, which sucks. But I think it cost like $10, so it was no money lost. And then I bought my um first body shaper. It's kind of wrinkled, but um I thought I was gonna love it, and I thought it was really good quality. I went to Bur not Burlington Co Factory, um not Suit City. Um I'll think of it and put it in the video, but I can't. Not Men's Closet. I don't know, but yeah. So it has like um a band right here that's supposed to like tighten around the leg. And I didn't think it was going to roll up, but it actually does roll up. And I'm not really a big, big, big fan of body shapers because, you know, everyone wears them, of course. But I want to find, like, a really great one. But I do like it only when I wear, like, a bodycon maxi dress. Like, if I'm having, like, my fat days and I need something to slim me out, I do wear it under my bodycon maxi dresses. I haven't worn it in any of my videos ever but um, usually like when I'm out and I want something just to slim me up just a little bit, I do throw this on. Only thing is that it does roll up a little bit. But when it does roll up, it gets, sorry, I thought I saw something. It gives my, it makes my butt looks bigger. So I was like, okay, so it's like a love-hate. I can live without it, but I'm looking for something better. But I did want to um, feature this. And when I think of the name of the doggone store, because they have tons and tons of tons of, uh, body shapers in there for like really great prices um yeah so we're off those items another thing that i've been absolutely loving 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 and i'm like oh my gosh um are these lashes the salon perfect lashes and i have them on right now you probably can't see but they're really great they're really nice and they're wispies and these cost like $8, so they're not bad because the um, Revlon ones that I used to wear cost $10. So, you know, you save a couple of bucks, but I reuse my lashes like a lot. So, I feel like I get my money's worth and I still haven't even opened this pack because I've been reusing the lashes from my last pack. But they last long and all you do is just pull off the glue and just stick them back on your eyes. But they are great and they only sell these at Walmart. But not like the neighborhood Walmart. I mean like the big Walmart. Also, um, this is like my favorite bronzer. It's by CoverGirl. I don't wear blushes because I've had bad experience with blushes. But this is my favorite bronzer. It is the Q120 bronzer from the Queen Collection. And it is really nice. And you probably can't see it in this video, but I do just have a little bit on. But it looks great in the sun and in pictures. I mean, it really picks up really nicely. And it's shimmery. I like a little bit of shimmer on my face. So if you're looking for a great bronzer for a dark skin woman, this is for you. Also, um, just to throw this in, I really love this scent. I did I was told about the Victor and Ralph perfume flower bomb. Um, just like maybe a couple of weeks ago and I was just like damn I really been missing out because one of my goals for 2012 was to start collecting more jewelry and more perfumes because I used to just only wear Juicy Couture but um I bought this um I got this set and it actually comes three tubes the other tube is in my purse and you just rub them on your neck or whatever because I need something that I can carry in my bag instead of just wearing at home and I didn't want to carry like the big bottles but this one cost $65 the other one cost $105 and then the big one cost $155 so I was like mm, let me just get the $65 one because I was I, I'm in love with it but I didn't want to spend like $100 on a bottle of perfume and also um this Betsy Johnson perfume smells so damn good this is like an old one I bought it at Marshall's and if you go to like Marshall's or TJ Maxx you can get really great deals on like perfume, especially Juicy Couture. They always sell that in there. But um, this one, I don't know what it's called. It just says Betsy Johnson. But the funny thing is, like the box is so long. And then when you open it, I'm thinking that it was going to be a nice size bottle of perfume. Because, you know, it was a long ass box. But there's the top of it is probably like from here to here. And I was just like, wow. Okay, if I knew that, I probably wouldn't have bought it. But... It was like $20, so I wasn't tripping. 
And my favorite daily moisturizer is by Ambi um, Even and Clear. And it has SPF 30 on it. I wear this every single day. I, you know, I need a moisturizer for my face. And I hate putting, like, just regular lotion for my face. But, um... Thank God I don't get any type of breakouts or pimples like that very often. But I feel like it's a really great moisturizer. Just so something like that just doesn't like, sit on top of my face. It actually like goes in my skin. So I really like that. But if you are looking for a great lotion, if you have like dry skin like myself. Like I have really dry. I have really weird, weird, weird skin. Um, I use Cetaphil. And it's a moisturizing, well, can I speak? Moisturizing lotion. And um, for all skin types, it's lightweight. It feels really great. It's like, I feel like it's like water on my skin. It just seeps right in. And it's just really nice because I have really dry skin. I have like my dad's skin. I don't have like nice women's skin. <laughs> but um, this lotion is really nice. It's just it goes so well. I found out about this by Zoe Salzanda. She was talking about like something that she couldn't live without. And I truly believe like I've tried like so many lotions like Dove and Cocoa Butter. I hate the way Cocoa Butter smells. We're not even going to go there. But um, yeah, so I don't want this video to be long. It's already 11 minutes. And so these are just some of the things that I absolutely love. I had to throw in my booty pop in there because <laughs> I just think that thing is so funny. But, um, I hope you like it. I don't really do videos like this. I don't know if you want me to do videos like this, but I just thought it would be something different. And hello to all my new subscribers. I have not said that in a very, very long time, but I'm at like 8,500, I think right now. So hopefully by the summer, I'll be at 10,000. That's one of my goals. So that's why I've been really trying to commit to doing videos a lot. And I'm happy you all like my last video. That's the way I really want to start dressing from now on because I'm about to be 20 freaking four. Yeah, so bye.